All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box, and so I'm going to invite all the kids who are willing and able to come and join me here up front, and uh, we will see what's in our box this morning. Thank you, Talia, and we'll see what we can learn about God or His Word from what's in the box this morning. Let's see, what do we have? <laughs> well, this is a great one. We have a toilet in the sermon in the box this morning. That's a great, oh, it even opens. Look at that. That is great. I love that one. I think that one might be new. I don't know. We had a pig bone last week. That was new. I think probably a toilet is new. I don't know if we've ever had a toilet for the sermon in the box. So let's see. Hmm. Are there toilets in the Bible? I don't think so. I don't, I mean, the, the Bible talks about the Bible does address and talk about what we do with toilets, and uh, so that is for sure in the Bible. But what kind of lesson? Do you have me stumped this morning? Do, am I finally stumped with a toilet? Let's have our hands down uh, and let me think what we can do with a toilet. Well, you know what? What do we do with the toilet? We put in the toilet things that we don't want to keep around, right? We put things, that's right, we put things, we put poop in the toilet because we want to flush it away because it's dirty and it has germs and it is stinky. And you know what? Sometimes there are parts of us that are kind of stinky too, not just our poop, right? It's sometimes the way that we act, sometimes the way that we talk, sometimes the way that we think, it's a little bit stinky, right? And it's, it's what the Bible calls our sin. But you know what Jesus has done for us? Jesus, through dying on the cross for us, has washed away all of that stinkiness. He takes our sins and he flushes it away. And the Bible says that our sin is flushed so far away that it's further than the east and the west and that God will never choose to look and to go... Ooh, they're so stinky because of their sin, because Jesus died on the cross for us. The Bible says that we now, to God, smell really good, and that he loves us and he delights in us. Well, wow, that was an excellent, creative sermon in the... Oh, all right, there you go.